hello from Bath. Um, I'm in Bath today. This is the uh, Brompton Touring Group Facebook group tour. Um, we set off from Bristol, but as you can see, it's a little bit damp. It's not raining now, but we've had about an hour's rain on the way through to here. And we've just stopped at this cafe for some refreshments. From here, we're moving on to the two tunnels route through to um, through to Froome, where we're camping, and then on to Cheddar and Yatton tomorrow on the Strawberry Line. Um, there's a, a, a heap of soggy Bromptons. So that's the subject of today's video. It looks like it's brightening up a little bit now, so hopefully we'll get a bit more filming done uh, through the rest of today. Um, so if that sounds of interest, stay with us. We're in Bath. Right, the sound might not be good on this, but I'm going to take the opportunity. We've got all the bikes lined up there. Um, up by Bath Bridge. One of the main tourist sites, attractions in Bath. Here we go, there's the bridge. The weir. The bridge, I believe, is one of only two or three bridges in the country that has shops across its width. Bath Bridge. You can see the weather's brightening up a little bit. I think I think we've got a happy bunch now they're drying out a little bit. And there are what? There are like shops. So onto the two tunnels trail okay. from here. Stop before the tunnel guys. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> So look at this, everybody's dried out, the sun's shining and we're in some beautiful countryside. Here we go on the way to Froome now. <laughs> Guys. Beautiful. So we've hit the village of Wello, which is on the very southern tip of the Cotswolds. Too nice not to stop and have a beer. The rest of the bunch are just in the fox and badger there, grabbing the refreshments. Well, you can probably see the sunshine didn't last nearly at the campsite. And here's the merry band. All in the rain gear again. We're nearly there. Right, so we're at the campsite. Just got the bike propped up on the tree there. That's my tent. There's Jennifer, Kevin, Nick. Oop. Blinded by the sun. Um, yeah, uh, we were originally going to be over there, but uh, the lady that runs the place is. Uh, Bought a couple of new ponies and pop those in. So she's put us over here, which uh, would be all right, but she's not mowed the grass and she's not mowed the nettles. I don't mind the grass, but I don't like the nettles. How's everybody feeling? First class, everybody. I think everybody's a bit relieved to be here. It got a little bit quiet on the way in, a few steep hills, but uh, some of us had to push. Oh couple of stronger guys managed to get up them all 
but yeah here we go the sun's come out as you can see we weren't expecting this so it's a bonus and another downside is we were supposed to have a um, a fire pit so we could have a fire but um, that seems to be missing as well unfortunately I'm sure we'll manage somehow catch you later Okay, so good morning campers, here's camp, by the tractor, quite a bright morning, looking very promising, it's about 6.30 and uh, most of the people have, um, are up and at it, just getting breakfast prepared. the morning communal little uh, food area oh just realized what I came back for it's just the cover for my chair join these guys now morning campers we all well Ready for a big day? Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll decide shortly where we're going. I'll, we'll have to have a vote or something. Yeah. Okay, so there's our campsite. That's some of the guys just finishing breakfast. But I thought I'd um, just give you a little tour of part of this campsite. It's called Valley's Veg, Camping in Nature. And it's been described as nearly wild camping. It's actually a small farm. The uh, small building up there is our toilet. It's a composting toilet for our use. And there's a sink at the side of that with fresh water, drinking water. I just follow the path down. We've got uh, a couple of ponies, horses in that field there. It's actually run as a small holding, but the lady that runs this place is very ecology minded. Um, she's actually a bit of an activist in, uh, in Extinction Rebellion, I believe. And so she runs this farm as ecologically as she can. That's the, that's the building there. You can see the wood store and the large solar panels on top for power. Sells fruit and veg from here. This seems to be the main growing area for that. And then as you walk down the track, the cars that are parked are actually other campers, but um, everybody has their own sort of separate pitch and not together in a field or anything. That, that little field that we're in is just for us. And then So there's your growing areas. Not sure what this building is. Oh, that looks like the preparation area for uh, food boxes and such that she sells. And she's got the car parking areas here. Wash block and firewood there. Sites five and six up over there so sites five and six is pictures Oop. there's a small camper van obviously being allowed on up there you might be able to make out the tent at the top of the hill there 
so the idea is that you get a bit of a wild camping experience you know well, there's a couple of tents up there yeah you can see those at the top of the hill in the corner there so another little group um, if you were interested in this site it's said we're near Froome there's another tent on its own over there another little growing area under the like polytunnels or is that just a mesh to keep the creepy crawlies off and then the main camps are in this sort of wooden woodland area here you can see a couple of tents there so you get a private sort of pitch in a woodland area you're allowed a campfire um, slight disappointment that um, where we were we didn't get a campfire but she did oblige us at, at a weekend you normally have to camp for two nights and uh, she did allow us just to camp for the one night so can't complain too much about that I think she found us an area that's not normally used for the camping so Valley's Veg campsite if uh, if you're in this area and you fancy something a little bit different a little bit quieter than your average campsite you want to support a good cause as well very much into ecological farming methods give it a go out the phone Nick Day two on the road. <laughs> so lots of the old um, telephone boxes have been preserved on here. And as you can see from that one there, perhaps it's, uh, it's the village library. Say that again. <laughs> Say it again. Yeah. I bet they've got five shades, 50 shades of grey in there. <laughs> I bet you're right. It, you know, it'll always be out on loan. <laughs> <laughs> just getting my breath, we've just come up a hill, but I had to stop and film this fantastic cycle path they've put in at the top of the hill. How about that? Everybody happy? Oh dear. <laughs> of course. That's the uh, Mendips transmitter up in front. So we've uh, come up quite a few hills in actual fact. But yeah, you can see it's a beautiful day. There's the view out. You might be able to pick up Glastonbury well, Tor. Until you said that, I didn't really notice that we come up a few hills. <laughs> Ever, ever onward and upward. <laughs> Pretty will probably be the next time I check in. The village of Pretty. So, quick stop at the Queen Vic, but not the East Enders Queen Vic. This is the Queen Vic in Pretty. And there, as you can see, is what they've done to get around the COVID. Hopefully, not spoiled too much by the. Uh, scruffy looking bikes there big photo opportunity for the guys the village of Pretty and the Queen Vic okay so here we are we're in the Cheddar Gorge I'm just gone down in front I'm just waiting for the rest of the tour to arrive. It's the first time I've got to the Cheddar Gorge and it's not raining. And it would be brilliant to film the descent today, but would you believe I've managed to leave a couple of camera mounts behind. <laughs> I think I'm jinxed. So yeah, the Cheddar Gorge, one of the best uh, cycle descents or, or ascents in the UK for sure certainly in England here's Nick 
the first to arrive. How are we finding it, Nick? Lovely, I don't know where the others are. <laughs> well, send the search party out soon. It's my pleasure. Thanks for thanks for coming. Especially with the weather forecast. I know I'm a bit of a liability because I can't hear, but <laughs> not at all, my friend. Not at all. No, he's certainly not been a liability. You're going to stick some of this on YouTube one day. Yes, you're going to be a YouTube star. No, no. Two or three days. Do you reckon? Yeah. Here we go. No, Kevin's the next one along. I wasn't born to follow by the birds. He <laughs> 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 needs new brakes. Jennifer. Hey! hey. <laughs> 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 Just, just one more to come. Jeff, wherever he is. And here he is. Oh, they're waiting down the hill for me, that's good of them. Let's crack on to the bottom. If anyone's, if anyone's seen my previous video here, you can appreciate that that wasn't visible. That was in the clouds last time I came down here. And what a spectacular ride this is. And a hard walk up. Okay, so here we are on the strawberry line. There's the sign. The guys are just coming through now. We're down to three. Jeff uh, left us in Cheddar, as you can see. Turned out to be a glorious day. The strawberry line to Yatton. Okay, so this photo was taken just outside of Yatton station, which is where the strawberry line and our tour ended. I would have summed up at this point, but um, as we pulled into the station, we literally had two minutes for the train. So I've popped these photos on, uh, which were kindly forwarded to me by Jennifer, uh, that was obviously on the tour. Uh, and I'll just sum up um, while uh, you have a quick look at these uh, at the end here. So we started it in Bristol, uh, Temple Mead station, and took the, um, the Bath to Rail, uh, Bristol to Bath railway path uh, into Bath. From Bath we picked up the two tunnels uh, path which then took us um, towards Froome and the campsite at Valley Veg, which was great and from, from there we then went by road to Cheddar where we picked up another excellent trail, the Strawberry Line. So three excellent trails, all ex-railway lines. Um, the only rain we had was between Bath and, uh, sorry, Bristol and Bath, we had about 45 minutes, quite heavy rain. Uh, lots more rain was forecast, so we did well on that. Um, this was the first outing for the Brompton Touring Group, a Facebook page that I set up, and um, I like to think uh, we, we had a good time. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I will just point out, not perhaps up to normal standards, it was all filmed on the iPhone, and also I didn't want to be stopping uh, on a regular basis and, and holding everyone up. People weren't out to make a video. They were out to have a good time. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. It helps the channel. Um, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And um, hope to see you next time. Thanks for now.